it's the next day and my hair is fluffy. I don't know what to say. Good morning. Um, so it's Wednesday, which I'm so excited about, which means tomorrow is going to be our first singing Christmas tree. And I think this is the first ever singing Christmas tree at this college, and it's pretty fun, pretty amazing. Um, I was not there. I was actually here when they were setting it up, but I didn't know. And of course, some of my friends that I know from church came by and helped, and I didn't know because no one told me, and I was like, crap. Uh, uh, uh. So, but when I came in during rehearsal on Monday, and I saw the tree for the first time, it brought back so many memories. I was like, oh. And we still talk about it, and I gotta charge my camera battery, which I will probably. <laughs> I will. But, uh, my hair is so crazy. I just finished washing my face, and I can see I'm already growing more pimples, so I don't know about this acne. I got another one, but, um, we'll see. We'll still give it some time, and I think once I run out again, maybe I'll try another thing from its product. It's clean and clear. Um,. Clean and Clear Act um, Advanced 3 in 1 Exfoliate Cleanser. And it's supposed to be 3 in 1, but I only have two. <laughs> it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be like this cleanser thing, and then there's this, and then the lotion. But because I didn't want the cleanser, because I think it'll make my face more oily, I got this. It's just, it's really cool. I actually like it. It's been pretty well. And then I got this lotion pump which is pretty cool and it helps and I probably do if you guys like ask me anything about this product I would probably give it it's pretty good so far and the lotion's not that bad it's a moisturizer and I only do two pumps people do as many as they want and because this is only like a moisturizer you don't need that many pumps I use about two and it only feels like oily for like three seconds minimum until you finish rubbing it all over the place and then it feels then it feels like you're wearing nothing and that's what I like about it, but, um, I already edited yesterday's vlog, which was pretty long, as you guys see, and it's uploading right now, probably won't be done until after I get back from my IT class, and then once IT class is done with, I'll come back, and hopefully I'll be finished charging, because this camera battery's dying, and work on my home, work on the paper, um, until dinner time and then once dinner time rolls around and if I feel like it and I got enough work done I'll probably film a video and then go back to working so yeah uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna shut up now because it's at three minutes and this needs to charge so talk to you guys later bye it is many hours later many hours later I mean I'm still trying to figure out this paper um it's a persuasive paper, but it also can be about controversial stuff and all that. And so, I try to call my dad, because I... Okay, you guys, writing is... I love writing, but it depends. If it's from my heart and I feel something, I can write it down instantly. I got, like, a journal right here in my drawer to prove it. Um, and, of course, I got a couple of guys that will say I write from the heart. But I keep forgetting that... Sometimes my teachers like me to write on their level, and I try, and I can't seem to write sometimes. And I'm a bit of a, I have a bit of a little bit of a writer's block right now. I'm just wondering, should I film, then go back to this, or should I just stick to doing this and not film today? And just be late on my videos per usual. I'm, I'm a horrible YouTuber, and it's not even my full-time job, and I'm already being horrible at it. But, um, so, my, my first thought of persuasive, controversial topic, um, was to do violent video games are horrible and should be banned and all that. So I was thinking about that, but I was like, I'm having a bit of a writer's block on that. And I was like, well, how about, since it's a persuasive essay, how about YouTube being a job? Because there are some people who like having YouTube as a job, because Vine was a job, Musical.ly is a job, it pays for things, and 
probably Tumblr pays as well. Of course, YouTube pays. I'm not getting paid yet, but. <sighs> so I asked my teacher, and of course, I'm asking my brothers because we, I come from a family of politics. Sometimes we are very political and all that, and I've met people who are very political, and I don't like political stuff. I will say that. Like, I'll get into the topic, I'll debate about some things, but I won't go full blown. <laughs> AKA, my brother. <laughs> I'm asking three of my brothers right now for help, and my sec, my th third brother, my closest one, was giving me very good ones, and now my first brother is giving me really good ones as well. But I'm about to check on my email. My school email. Let's see what I got. Because uh, uh, I'm having total writer's block. Uh, I highly doubt that he messaged me in the last five minutes. Oh. How could YouTube be a job? <laughs> see? <laughs> the internet has spoken. I am going to message him back and we're going to, I'm going to debate this right now. It is many hours later and with final debates, I am doing the YouTube thing and I'm going to add like social media probably to it. I'm still debating on what to do. It's been a very long process. My teacher said I could do it. I just can't have my own opinions about the, um, about the app and any social media that does pay Vine, it used to pay Musical.ly, I think does. I'm not totally sure. You could ask Baby Ariel. And yeah, but I'm trying to do a Q&A on my Twitter. So if you're following me on Twitter, I've been active on there since today. Um, my dad was like telling me, he's like, do something about Donald Trump's tweet. I'm like, Dad, I just got back on Twitter like today. And he was like. Yeah, do something like that. <laughs> so I might, but this is how far I've gotten so far because I've been so busy looking at YouTube videos to get my ideas. And yeah. Gotta start looking up. I'm about to do that and actually exit out of everything, which was stupid me, but um, yeah. And I'm skipping dinner, but I don't know where I'm probably gonna eat like a Norla bar or um, something in the frozen fridge. Something frozen that's in my fridge. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just really tired. I'm kind of being productive, and it seems like I'm not being productive. So, it feels like I'm motivated to do this, but I'm not wanting to do it, I think. It's like, I know I have to, and I'm going to do it, but when I sit down, I'm like, crap. I think it's because of where I am, and I had to deal with this through high school. I even had someone tell me this. It's like you see the same people every day, you see the same building every day, you see the same teachers every day, you do the same things almost every day, you go to the same locker, you almost eat the same exact food. Seriously, I almost ate about the same exact food almost every day. It was either paninis, um, my chicken parmesan, or my lasagna that took forever. And so, that's how I feel like here. I'm in the same room every day. I see the same people every day. There's the same pond out there every day. I eat almost the same exact food every day. And it's very annoying and does not get your juices flowing, which is why I hate this. This is why Lily seen like last year when she was still living in um, her home in Canada, she had always had a switch from being upstairs to downstairs to downstairs to upstairs. And I don't have that luxury because one, I'm in college. <laughs> I don't live with my parents anymore or I don't live by myself. And I went out to the pond to get some ideas and I did not like it. It didn't help me. It helped me a little bit but not too much, I would have to say. Because it was very annoying and very tiring and I really didn't like it. It's like, I like the beach and the lighthouse kids. Only one person <laughs> knows that reference. Um, it's not from a movie, it's not from a TV show, it's just something I made up and someone was there when I said Lighthouse Kids. He doesn't call them Lighthouse Kids, but I do. 
So yeah, I'm gonna start working. My headphones were there. I'm gonna continue working. I had some popcorn earlier to get my juices flowing. So yeah, let's get this paper done. So it is many hours later. Many hours and but can't speak. And many hours later, it means it's time for me to go to bed. It is like 11:45 ish. I really gotta get to bed. I got a 8:30 a class. I know, right? No 8 o'clock class. It's 8:30. 30, 30 minutes later, but um, I did work on my paper a bit. I think I figured out the subject I want to do. It's still working on it, but I did clean the room. You guys saw it was very messy, which is why my bed's a mess right now. As you can see in the background, it's a bit messy. But the floor was a lot worse. But, um, I'm gonna wash my face and just brush my teeth. But I wanna say I love you all so much. Thank you for joining me on this awesome day. I'm sorry I'm not wearing my PJs, but you know. Anyways, guys, I love you all so much. Hope you have a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is there. I love you all so much. I'll have you later. Bye.